We'll give it a couple of minutes yet. everybody I'm just gonna wait a little bit yet hello everyone let's see if I can get people to ask questions hang on all right I don't know if I can answer any questions simply because of the, I'm not sure how to flip all that over. I want to go over a couple of the tools and some of the new DVDs I have out. Um, and I'm going to share that with you in just a minute here. Some of you are familiar with my V number four. Uh, it's called the new V tool. It's four and a half, um, uh, four and a half wide but this is a smaller version of it it's similar but it's not the same I could not get the other tools any longer so I decided to go with this one all right this one is um, I had to get some work because once you take it out of the package it didn't work so I got it all ready to go so if you're interested in this this is the new uh, three and a half this is similar to the dockyard but not the same. Now, I don't see any of the comments. I'm sorry. I'll try to answer your questions after I get off of online here. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to do that. I'm not sure why. Let me see if I can figure this out. Somebody told me before and it still is not doing what I want it to do. Okay, but anyway, um, thanks for joining me tonight. I'm going to go over a couple of things. One was the V-Tool, the new V-Tool. So when you go to the online site for it, um, you'll see um, it will say new replacing the uh, 4.5. All right. Now, the other thing is we're going to be doing this little character on the 30th of June, which is a Tuesday night. That will be... A Tuesday night at 7 o'clock or 7.30 or so. Um, I'll post it on Facebook a little bit later. But this little guy, I got so many responses from him. And I have a couple of new ideas of not only this, but a couple other characters that I like to do uh, similar to this in a different style. You'll see it. So I have a couple of new things that I have in mind that I like to try to get done. So... If you want to join me for this, you're going to need a two and a half by uh, one and a half by one and a half block. And if you don't have the blocks for it, I have them under the ornament series. You'll see them um, listed on my face on my store uh, on the Square Store. Let me just explain something about the Square Store. A lot of people said they can't find things there. Now I'm understanding why. Some of the things that I, it's a very, it's not a user-friendly system for the most part. So what I found is if I, um, the old, the old format is not allowing the new format to add new things to it. So when I get off the line today, I'm going to list the new, um, the new site. It's the same site, but if you click on to what I put underneath in the comment or in the, in the post, you'll be able to see all the new stuff. Now, some of the new stuff, uh, some of you already saw the mini nativity set. I know this is probably backwards, okay? This is the first one. Um, I'm sorry, that's not the first one. This is the first one with Mary, Joseph, and Jesus and the star. That was the first one. The second one is the cow, donkey, and sheep, all right? And I just did the last one last night of the um, of the shepherd angel and the wise men. Okay, 
Now, I, some of you want the whole set, and I'm going to give it to you for a better deal. These are usually $14 a piece when you buy them. Um, because if you buy three, I don't need to pay for the extra shipping. So you'll save $5 if you buy all three at one time. And I, instead of being 42 it can be 37 And then you'll get all three DVDs. On the first DVD, I want to just share with you on this. Uh, if you're not familiar, some people wanted to know about the the manger that we had. And um, this is not the scale, but this is the pattern that's along with the other pattern on how to do the blocks and stuff. Now, I will be making these. I keep promising you the last nine weeks I was going to make these, and I will. I will definitely make them. But what I'm going to do is... Um, uh, this will be added to every first DVD number 76. So 76, 77, and number 78 will be in a three. You can order it either three at one time online, or you can purchase whichever one you prefer to have if you didn't want to buy all of them or any of them. It's up to you. So that's what I wanted to share with you today is that these are the new new three DVDs that I've gotten, um, the new um, V tool, and that our class is going to come up on uh, on the thirtieth. Um, and what I'll do is once I get off of here, I'll I'll end up putting all those sites on, in one post where you can buy uh, the lumber. The lumber is going to be a little bit different for this one than it was for the mini. And I just wanted to share with you, the actual ones that you see painted already are out of this size, a two and a half instead of two and a quarter by one and a quarter. It's actually two and a half by one and a half. And um, so you can take either, either set and make the nativity set from either one using the same thing that you saw on the DVD. So it doesn't really matter uh, if you use one or another, you know, it doesn't make any difference. Some of you have been sending me pictures of the finished product, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of you have, all of you have really done a great job. And thanks for sending those pictures to me. I put one that was from uh, the UK, from South Wales. She did a wonderful job on her stuff. And uh, some others are sending it privately to me, which is awesome to see how people are doing the nativity set. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'll have the manger scenes ready, or the manger itself, and they're going to be $25 for one, um, because it's bulky and you got to ship it in something a little bit larger. So, uh, I try to save money on the shipping where I can for you folks. I really can. I'm, I don't want to make money off the shipping. I just want to be able to send you the product at a, at a reasonable price as I can. Um, the new uh, V3s are three and a halfs that I have now, and this is the one you saw me use on the videos, um, on the last couple of videos on YouTube. This one here um, is going to be $22.50 instead of $25. Now I have a couple of the four and a half yet. Um, you can email me separately if you want the little bit larger one. That's up to you. Uh, it doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever. Uh, I'm sorry I can't see the questions. I don't know what happened to the video, and I, somebody tried to explain it to me. But hello, everybody in Canada. Um, I just want to share down here. If we've had a rainy day, and we had, uh, we're in the yellow. We're gonna go into the green along with Lancaster and, Ch and Berks County, I believe, on the 26th of this month, which is a f next week. So we actually, I actually went out to eat out of the house for a change um, and we all sat outside uh, where they had things uh, you know, done and stuff. So it was kind of nice to be able to get out again. I know our church has not started yet, but I know there's many churches in the area that have already started a couple of weeks ago with the distancing and different things. So slowly things are getting what we call back to normal. But for the most part, I was thinking, you know, will I have any classes this fall? Probably not. Um, not in the shop. But I will probably maybe have one out on the deck. 
I have a very large deck out here at my mom's place and we can use that um, and that'd be really easy to clean with a blower you know it wouldn't be anything um, that would take a lot of a lot of time or uh, effort to clean up um, but I might have a day that people can come over or a Saturday if people if they want to drop by they can and there's plenty of room to have social distancing on the deck so I haven't figured all that out even for the fall uh, if I want to have a class I'll probably have it outside so depending how the weather is you know the weather lately has been really strange first it's really cold then it's really hot and now it's really kind of gloomy and doomy today so it's been a mixed bag this spring and now starting into summer so uh, other than that there is nothing else to share with you um, I'm just having a real problem with the um, with the store trying to add new items to it so I'll put the new link down and if you happen to go to the old link what you want to do there's three little bars there that will if you click on it will say it's basswood or um, you know it's tools uh, just go shop now once you hit the shop now it will take you to the new page so I hopefully that clarifies everything I'm sorry folks in Canada I'm not shipping anything to Canada it's too expensive but if you do I would suggest to if you can do a, a bunch of items at one time so the shipping is only once um, I just sent a DVD to my aunt from my mom's funeral um, in fact, I sent two of them. It was over $10 just to send one. So, but I think there's breaks on that. Uh, once you get up to three or four pounds, I think it costs like $23 or $27 or something. I haven't figured all that out. But it is expensive to ship anything to Canada. So I'm not, this deal is, sorry, it's not there. But it is on YouTube and you can watch it as much as you want there. Um, and the same thing with sending anything to Europe or anywhere out of the United States. It's just extremely expensive. If I find a cheaper way of doing it, I will certainly let you know and, uh, and we'll take it from there. But uh, other than that, everything else is, um, I, oh, after we do this little guy, I have, uh, some people have asked about the birds. Let's see if I can grab that over here for a second. Here we go. These little birds, and this one is the, um, this one is the, oh, this is the cardinal, or you can make it into a blue jay, either one. A lot of you have wondered about doing these, and I, if we're still in the quarantine, if something happens in the fall that we're going to end up staying home again a lot, then I'm going to go ahead and do two of these that you can make four different kinds. You can do the, um, the... Uh, the blue jay or the cardinal out of this or you can do the um, and out of the other one you can do the chickadee um, and the goldfinch okay out of the other one and the bluebird so that's that's what I'm looking to maybe do in the fall and if not maybe have a class out here for it so this is the ornament there's a lot that I do with the ornament uh, size the mini size the only thing I've ever done with that is what we did on um, with with the the nativity set all right but this size it's the same thing as this size they're exactly the same size block there's nothing different on these two except how you carve it and um, I'm looking forward to doing this one this one is already set to go on YouTube so the one I do online will not be the one that will go on YouTube I already have a clearer picture and that the this is the actual one that I do on YouTube but we'll do another one live on the 30th and then I'll I'll load the other one up all right folks thanks I'll look at your questions after <clears throat> after we get off of here and then I'll take a look at it. I'll try to answer them all and I think I'll leave I'll just leave this video up for a while that's not a huge deal for me um, and then on the next post I'll put all the links for the different DVDs the the new um, parting tool and a couple other things for you so you can find it easier all right if you have any other questions and so you know you can always do it in messenger or on one of my posts 
and thanks for joining me here at the Carver's Woodshop. I appreciate all of you that had joined. Uh, we had quite a few people come from all over the world, actually. Um, I had some people in Singapore. I had some people in Germany. I had some people in all in Canada and here and you know down south, um, all over. And it is really an interesting way of staying connected with carvers. Um, I will try to get all this stuff ready for you so it's easy to find. Um, if I can find a different store to hook up to that doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, the nice thing about Square, it doesn't really cost a whole lot to be on there. Um, but it is not user friendly in my opinion. If you're someone really new trying to start something like this, uh, it's it's... Maybe it's better to find another avenue. I put so much invested time into the Square um, store that I put two hours into it yesterday just to try to figure out how to, you know, how to take care of it. And it was just awful. I I finally decided to go to shop now and it, and it popped up. So have a great night. I hope everyone's staying good and safe. Um, Hope you're wearing your mask um, when you're going out. You're not doing it for you. You're doing it for other people. And I think that's why we're opening up as soon as we are because a lot of people were complying with that. I know that's a very big issue and it's a very uh, touchy issue with some people. But I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for other people so they can feel comfortable being around me in public. All right, folks, take care and we'll hopefully see you soon. Um, and don't forget the 30th of June, we'll have another class. All right. Good night, folks. Bye-bye.